Welcome back, collectors. So today we'll be unboxing the latest release from Warcry, the Catacombs. So this is going to be done side by side with the initial Warcry starter set and you guys can compare to see whether this set is worth money or not. Alright, so we're just going to cut out the plastic to review the contents and to smell some of that sweet, sweet new model smell. Uh, as you guys can see, the Warcry catacombs come with two sets of terrains, some of the old Warcry, and two warbands, the Science of the Flame and Knight Shadow Software. So without further ado, we're gonna just use a blade to cut up the box and to review some of the contents. Okay, just rip that plastic off and let's look at what's inside the box. Okay, so the box is pretty heavy and you get this limited edition pink paper that Games Workshop has never offered before. This would really go really well on the eBay market and you should really keep this. And yeah, here are the contents for the catacombs. So first off, the catacomb comes with two warbands. So the two warbands are the Knight Shadow Stalkers as well as the Science of the Flame. Uh, just looking at the the sprues, they are really really detailed. They look a lot better in person. And the Science of the Flame comes with this one and a half sprue, whereas the Knight Shadow Stalkers come with a full sprue. Um, as you can see, the numbers are all jumbled up, and I would say that. Later in the assembly, you will have a lot of fun trying to find individual numbers because all the parts look the same. So now let's move on to the terrain. Uh, you get some of the old Warcry terrain. These are the exact same spruce. There is nothing new about them. And you are getting about half the Warcry spruce. And you would be missing the Sigma statue head. So more of the old war cry spruce, these are the spiky bits that you'll be getting. And we're gonna be getting some new spruce. I really like this set of new spruce. And yeah, just the last sprue of the war cry old terrain. More war cry old terrain. So you're gonna be building up about two buildings and a clock tower. Bell Tower I mean and these are the new sprues that you'll be getting so as you can see this is really really detailed they serve very well as scattered terrain so I am pretty pleased of what I'm getting in this Warcry Catacombs and you come with two of these really chunky plastic sprues with doors opening and closing originally these sprues look really thin on the pictures but now that we have gotten this spruce, you can really feel the heft and chunk of these bridges and doors. And yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So next up, you get this pretty nice Warcry Catacombs poster which you can frame up. I really hope that they take better care of the posters. And you also get the double-sided cardboard so this double-sided cardboard box also comes with the tokens that I won't be opening. And here are the paperwork that comes with the set. You will get the core book and the catacomb supplement. The core book is exactly the same as the old book. So I wouldn't be going through that. Now I'll just be looking through the instructions and some of the contents of this package to see what else is in here. So first and foremost, we have the stat cards. They come in a very nice ziplock bag and they have also included a lot of other ziplock bags for you to split this set and to organize 
the individual cards. So let's look into this bag and let's see what's coming up. Yep, as I mentioned, many Ziploc bags are also included to allow you to organize your cards. And you have stack cards here. Here you can see both sets of models. I'm going to be showing you their abilities so that you can just pause the screen and take some screenshots if you need any reference about these stats. All right. So some of my favorite models are the Shroud Queen and the Immolator. All right. For the Science of the Flame, these are the abilities that you want to know. And for the Canine Shadow Stalkers, these are the abilities that are relevant to them. So moving on, we're going for the instruction booklet. I'm really very happy with what Games Workshop has provided for the instruction booklet because uh, it's, it, it's a huge jump from when I started. When I started, they had black and white instructions, which were not super clear. Now they tell you where to put the glue and where to paste the model. And that is really, really helpful. So everything is uh, well described here. Very happy. Good job, Games Workshop. And now we're going into the Catacombs book. So the Catacombs book comes with a lot of amazing artwork and paintwork for you to reference. But one thing I was pretty surprised about and also uh, taken aback is that if you look over here, these are the arrangement for the terrain. The cards don't come with this. So what we loved about Warcry, having that randomness, is taken away. And now it, in its place, it's a campaign about the catacombs. And I would think that it would be pretty nice because it's like hero quest where you just follow the campaign follow the setups and you can have a pretty interesting and engaging campaign because every setup looks to challenge the player in many different ways however i do remember fondly how war cry started and it had cards provided which is one of my main gripes that this catacomb supplement didn't have the cards where people could play random maps and random victory conditions. All we have now are just fixed setup and it might float your boat because it looks a lot more organized and yeah, I guess it's just something new and I've yet to play a game of catacomb so I'm really interested to see what we can experience from this really huge chunk of plastic Games Workshop has provided us with. Overall, I find the book pretty awesome because it's what Games Workshop are now known to have. Colored, well described and uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. Okay, so this is the ordinary war cry book that we shan't talk about. And now, as a treat, we have also a box of the original war cry starter set, which we will unbox side by side. This might not be new to you, but I think this would give an accurate perspective of which set is worth more money and whether this set of catacombs is for you. So now that we've ripped off the plastic, we can have a look at the contents. So just right off the bat, we are missing the beasts from the original Warcry set. We are missing Sigma's head and the spiky platform, his head lies upon. And approximately half the terrain is gone to be replaced with, of course, the gates and the bridges. So I would say that the two warbands can sort of cancel out each other and in replacement for the half the terrain you get the gates and you are also missing the cards which to me is a really really huge waste 
Overall, I think you're just swapping the beast for a catacomb supplement box. Sorry, a catacomb supplement book. And let's see what's in the contents for this uh, starter set. And we can see whether this new catacomb box is really worth the money. So if I recall correctly, both boxes are priced pretty similarly. Currently, they are priced at uh, 320 Singapore dollars. And I'm gonna be taking off the cover to review yet another chunk of plastic. Just look at this glorious chunk of plastic right here. So I mean, off the bat as I what I've mentioned, we have two wall bands. The two wall bands are roughly similar in plastic quantity. And then you have approximately double the amount of terrain sprue. Okay. So comparing the new spruce and the old spruce, they are exactly identical. However, I must say that the new spruce, the plastic color looks kind of different, looks a bit more cooler gray as compared to the, the old ones. Okay. So right here you can see that there was no rearrangement of any of the parts. They look exactly the same. And you will be just missing this Sigma head right here. Uh, this Sigma head is, in my opinion, a very nice narrative piece. And it is such a waste that it didn't make a return in this catacomb set. However, that is not that that is not all that has been missing from this catacomb set. We also are um, uh, missing the the beast which come in two form the ground chicken and the flying demon things that I just can't recall off my mind right now okay now looking at two piles of plastic which one has more plastic I mean the answer is pretty clear it is the starter set so right here we have catacombs and here we have the warcry starter set uh, of the of the starting blocks, it is very clear that the starter set have uh, has a lot more plastic. So we're just going to take out the uh, the two wall bands because they roughly cancel out each other. And right here, we're going to show you guys how much that you are missing if you have missed out the beast. So I would say terrain to terrain you would be comparing yourself to maybe one to two sprues less plastic however i don't think that is a very fair way of comparison because of course uh, games workshop has put in a lot of effort into the new catacombs book and i would say that that would also serve as a way to play gives a lot more variety however I would say that what is, uh, yep, the bees are missing. So sad. This is a really, really nice model. But I would say that uh, what, what is dearly missed is that the randomness and the cards are gone. And yeah, uh, while you have different ways of playing in the catacombs, I would say that, yeah. I would miss playing ran the randomness on the cards. So right now we are going to be assembling the Shrub Queen. And we will do some size comparisons. In this size comparison, we will have the Shrub Queen, we will have the Shrub Blades, as well as the leader from the Science of the Flame, the Blazing Lord, as well as the Immolator. So we get to compare all these guys. 
the Shroud Queen is a real challenge to assemble because all the nibs and parts are so delicate and you got a it was a challenging question to see whether I wanted to glue her as a piece and lose out the opportunity painting the front because the shroud obscures the the chest of the model. Just putting in a little bit of super glue. Pasting on the bit right here. So as you can see, take some time to align and yup. We got it and we just gotta hold it in place. Just a little bit of super glue right here to join the two parts of the shroud cloak. You just gotta hold that in place. So for the shroud queen and many of the shroud canine shadow stalkers, there are going to be significant gaps. And what you will need, you will need some Leo plastic putty as I'm using right here to fill up the gaps. After filling up the gap, you just want to use a wet brush and just to sort of spread out the spread out the excess so that there's only a little bit of putty in the gap and we're going to sand that off very soon. So right now I'm using a sanding sponge with a grid of a thousand to send off the excess and shortly I'll do some size comparisons. So this is the Shroud Queen and the leader of the Science of the Flame, the Blazing Lord. So I would say that they are roughly the same size, however the Blazing Lord is on a 32 mil base, whereas the Shroud Queen is on a 40 mil base. The Immolator is also based on a 32 base, whereas the Shroud Blade is based on a 28mm base. As you can see, it's a significantly smaller than the Shroud Queen. Comparing with a primary Space Marine, the Shroud Queen is slightly shorter, however, you can see that the Shroud Queen is a lot more slender. The leader of the Siren of the Flame, Blazing Lord, is comparable to a primary Space Marine, whereas the Shroud Blades are clearly dwarf compared to the primary Space Marine. Alright, so that's the end of the unboxing. I hope you found this unboxing video useful. If you did, do give us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing because we have many more useful videos coming up. I will catch you soon. See you guys.